part three, we're looking at working within a project. You've created the project, added users, and now you want to knuckle down and get into your project. Great. Let's go. First, we'll call up our sample project with a search. Click Load to open it. This is the overview map with a top-down look at all your scans, 13 in this case. Click a scan to open control options. At the top is Quick View to open the scan. Click the right icon to open details. Information is under two tabs, Global and Local, determined by GPS. Open the scan from the icon on the right. The scan view can be orbitally panned with mouse or zoomed with a mouse wheel. Notice the compass at the base of the view. You can also see the other scan locations. Click a scan glyph to open the scan controls. Another click on the panoramic view icon opens the scan. If you open the overview map, you'll notice the current scan is highlighted. The panorama view will always open the selected scan. Simply click another scan in the overview map to select it. Notice the fun scan artifacts from overlapping or moving targets within the scan. Within a scan view, you have access to various options, from taking measurements in the scan to annotating it, editing scan details, sharing it, or even deleting it. In the overview map, you can also measure an area or take an orthophoto as you can in scene as well. To measure, follow the prompts on the right. Click your two measurement points and if you want them to be persistent on the scan you must name it, save it, and assign it to an existing category or create a new category by naming it and clicking set. Then give it a tag or two for easy searching. Click OK. You can change the measurement units under settings. Back to our measurement, click the label to open your options palette. Switch segment view reveals greater detail. Down here in the bottom left corner are a few more commands. You can slide color value from full color to grayscale. Above color is another way to view properties. Above that takes you to the overview map and then we get into the layer toggle commands. Toggle the compass on and off. Next, hide show orthophotos, hide show annotations, hide show measurements, and you can hide the other scan positions if you'd like. Finally, in the top left corner are category and tag filters to sort your data set. Thank you for joining us in part three of three videos on using WebShare Cloud. We hope you found them helpful.